For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Romans 3.23. Good morning, my brothers and sisters. I'm gone. Glory to God. I thank you, Lord, for your mercy and for your grace. I thank you, Lord God, for this word. I thank you for my brothers and sisters. I just ask, Holy Spirit, that you would speak this life into us. It's not about what we can do, but about what you're going to do through us, Lord God. That you are the potter and we are the clay. And I just thank you for that. Right now, in Jesus' name, amen. Glory to God. <laughs> what does that show? It shows a heart. God has a heart for you. God declares life over you. Through me, I declare life over you in the name of Jesus. It's not me declaring life. It's God through me. Me coming into an agreement with the Word of God. And if there's anyone out there this morning and you're sick, just reach your hands out. And in faith, receive your healing. Say, I'm healed in the name of Jesus. And no weapon formed against me will prosper. Glory to God. Glory. Praise your name. Praise your name this morning. It is about works. <laughs> the things we do to earn our salvation. Is there anything we can do to earn our salvation? I say no, 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 because Jesus did it all. Glory to the Lamb of God. <laughs> but there are people out there that live by their works. And they feel like that's going to improve their walk it's not um the only thing we have to do is believe in our hearts and confess with our mouth that jesus is the lord and god raised him from the dead and we will be saved um it's not by works lest any man should boast it's by the grace of god jesus said to paul three times after three times of entreating him to take this thorn out of his side he said, my grace is sufficient for thee. My strength is made perfect in your weakness. We need to realize that it's Him. It isn't really us. It's Him. It's us in Him. And we have to know that it's by His grace. It's not by our works. And it's more than my definition of works. It's my definition. Thank you, Lord, for giving me some leadway here and some wiggle room. It's an attempt at earning salvation or a right standing with God. There's all kinds of different types of works, but I'm talking about for our salvation and for our personal walk in, in the Lord. We can't really do anything to earn God's love. We can't really do anything to earn God's respect. We can't really do anything to earn salvation. And we can't force that on other people. If we do, we start becoming Pharisees and religious. And I'm going to ask you a question. Are you religious? Now, just wait a second. <laughs> the answer is, in any of those areas, it should all be by Jesus' grace. We can't allow our propensity to be sinful creatures to affect our walk any more than we can allow our emotions to get in the way of that. And what I mean is, is we have to submit ourselves to the Holy Spirit and realize that it is by what Jesus did that we get salvation. That's our salvation. He is our salvation. And for as many as believe on Him, they are called the sons of God. If we believe on Him, if we believe on Him, if we lay our lives on Him, if we, if we stay on the potter's wheel and allow Him to mold us and shape us, we are going to become more like Him. And that Him is Jesus. Glory to God. Praise His holy name. Praise His holy name. And in Isaiah 57, 12, it says, I will declare your righteousness and your deeds, but they will not profit you. In other words, by your own righteousness and your own deeds, that's just going to be filthy rags to God. So strip off those filthy rags and put on robes of righteousness. And how do you put a robe of righteousness on? It's beginning to fear the Lord. Fear of the Lord is the beginning of all wisdom. But realize that it's what Jesus did. There's nothing you can do. You, you sin, you repent, you go on. John, in one of the epistles of John says, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus the righteous, so that when we do sin, He's there pleading our case. If the Father sees us through, through the 
through through the blood of Jesus. He sees Jesus in us, and that to him says, they're righteous, they're my children. He knows us by name, he knows us intimately. Glory to God. Glory to God. I feel like there's some out there watching this this morning that have been struggling with the idea of I've got to do more, or I've got to do this, or I've got to do that, or I've got to do... <laughs> well, listen, put your, put your trust in God. Just step out in faith and say, I'm going to trust you, Lord, to take me through these things, to show me these things. If God wants you to move and do something, do it. But just realize this, that if you don't do it, it's not going to change your standing. It will absolutely not change your standing. If you're born again, if you're drafted into a family, you're there. But, that being said, be, be, uh, be listening for the Holy Spirit to have you step out and do something in faith and bring glory to God. Your light shining on a hill. Don't hide who you are. Glory to God. Praise His holy name. And then in Ephesians 2, 8 and 9, it says, For by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not your own doing. It is a gift of God, not a result of work, so that no one may boast. We can't boast in our works. I can't say I, I've talked to 500 people and brought millions to the Lord. It, it, it doesn't really mean anything if, if I'm not doing this from a, from a heart of love. From what the Father's pouring into me, from what Jesus is pouring into me, what the Holy Spirit's pouring into me, and I'm pouring it back out. If, if it's not being poured in and, and it's just being poured back out, then it's, I'm doing it in my own strength. I'm not doing it in the Lord's strength. My salvation can't possibly be earned from anything that I could ever do. And when we become and when, when we become like the law, we live like the law. And if you live by one part of it, you have to live by the whole part of it. And it's not by works, not by anything you can do, not by your own self-righteousness. Not by your religiosity, not by any of that. It's by what He's done. Glory. Praise you. Morning. And in John 10, 27 through 30, it says, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they will never perish, and no one will snatch them out of my hand. My Father, who has given them to me, is greater than all, and no one is able to snatch them out of the Father's hand, I and the Father are one. <laughs> Glory. Glory. That is a good word right there. That, that you know, Paul says that you can't do anything. It's not a result of work. It's by the grace of Jesus Christ. And then Jesus says, nobody can ever snatch you from my hand. Because no one can snatch you from the Father's hand. The Father and I are one. We have to realize that in our salvation, it is assured. We don't use God's grace as toilet paper, wipe ourselves, and then put it back on. We don't walk in that. We don't use the grace of God as an excuse to live in sin. We use the grace of God. We live the grace of God. We are the grace of God on the face of this earth. We are the kingdom of heaven walking in this physical plane. And we have to, we have to realize in ourselves but it's not what we can ever do. It's only by what He has already done. Glory to God. And I think I've talked on this subject a whole bunch of times, but I'm going to keep talking on it because God wants you to know that there's nothing you can do to earn your salvation, to earn a right standing in God, to be further in the, in the kingdom of God than you are right now. That the greatest in the kingdom are the ones who serve but they serve from a heart of love. They don't serve because they think that if they look humble, that'll make them humble. No, they humble themselves under the hand of God by serving through love, from love, from a heart of love, through the Father's heart. Letting what the Holy Spirit's pouring into you out back out to others. Don't work, don't work, don't work. Not work the work. <laughs> Start praising the Lord. Just thank Him. No matter what situation and circumstance you're in, in and you find yourself in, begin to thank Him and praise Him. Thank Him for the growth. If it's the hardest place you've ever been, begin to praise Him. If it's the hardest thing that you've ever had to do, praise God through this situation, begin to praise Him. That'll draw the Spirit of God in. And that'll bring liberation and freedom and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there's freedom. 
glory. Now, I would just want to say thank you for coming to sit with me this morning. And I just want to bless your day. And I say thank you, Lord, for your mercy and your grace on us. In Jesus' name, amen. Glory to God. Well, praise the Lord. Another short one. <laughs> just these little tiny messages. Short and sweet. I don't know what I'm going to play this morning. I ought to play a song I've been working on, I suppose. My fingers aren't really there.
the heartbeat of the father. Yeah. <laughs> and if you don't hit every single string right, it's all right because my grace is sufficient for thee. My strength is made perfect in your weakness is what the Lord said to Paul. And we'll see you later. Bye.